What's going on YouTube? It's Calciscope. I'm back with another one, man. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, match your subject colors into any background that you really want to very quickly. So I'm not going to be going into where you should get the highlights from or where the shadows are going to be hidden from. I'm just going to show you guys the basis of uh, starting off to set your subject into the scene. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add a solid color on the top and we're going to turn this to 50% uh, gray. It doesn't have to be exactly 50%, but get around there somewhere, okay? 50% gray. And from normal blending mode, we're gonna change this to luminosity instead, all right? And then the second thing we're gonna add is a hue and saturation layer on the top as well. And with this hue and saturation layer, just keep it on normal, but you're gonna bring the saturation up relatively highly, okay? Now you're gonna control click, go down to your color fill, and then press control G, and we're gonna group these together, okay? So now these are in a group. The second thing that you're going to need to add is selective color. So go to your semicircle right here, your hue and saturation semicircle. You'll find that, so all that type of stuff. Um, yeah, all these color adjustments, adjustments to your subjects. We're going to click on selective color, okay? So with this selective color, you're going to right click and create a clipping mask. Or you can hold down Alt at the bottom of the tab and or it's option on the Mac and clip it to the subject. I don't know why I have an extra subject, okay? But we have a subject right there now, okay? So what you're gonna do from this point is you're gonna turn back on this group. So now you have this group turned on and what you're gonna be looking for is, see how he's super orange compared to this blue background and there's like reds, there's like more magenta, there's more um, cyan, stuff like that. And you, you just see, don't see the tones that are matching on his body. So. Um, off the bat, what I'm what I'm having gonna have to do is change the color of the skin uh, substantially. And what something that, that's here that stands out to me is this is blue, a lot of blue. This is orange. The opposite of blue, it really matches it is orange. But you want to get more like yellow tones to get this into a more cool um, subject that just matches the scene. So what you're gonna do is just go on your neutrals, and there's not any real like pattern that you're gonna have to follow every time but you're just gonna come on neutrals usually off the bat and um, start trying to match some of these tones to the scene so you see how he was super saturated before so I'm bringing that saturation down and I'm also adding some slight blues just by playing around on my selective color and trying to get him to match into the scene you can check back and forth um, while you're doing this once you're done with on the neutrals, I would go between reds and yellows because reds and yellows really um, are the colors of skin if you do not know that. So when you're adjusting on reds and yellows, this will also help you out tremendously for finding a good color to, to set on for your subject. And like I said, you can switch between back and forth between the, the um, overlay of luminosity and not. So I'm just moving through and trying to get this scene matched and just looking a lot more clean all right so once i feel like all right i did a pretty good job then i'll turn the group off again and now i'm seeing all right he has a little bit too much yellow or something like that you can go back on your neutrals and sometimes you don't even need to turn the overlay on you can just adjust from here so something like that and then once you're done with this I like to set my opacity usually a little bit lower, but uh, as you guys see, it's a night and day difference just from that one, that one um, group and selective color. So make sure you guys have your color fill on about 50% gray. Your hue and saturation is going to be on. The color fill is going to be on luminosity, so you can see those colors vibrantly and turn your hue and saturation up and then you're going to also clip your selective color work on your neutrals first then go to your reds and yellows in most cases for your subjects because reds and yellows are like the colors that make up the skin primarily so with that being said that is a super quick way to match your colors of subjects to your scenes and i can go further in depth in like videos to come after with highlighting and things like that to look out for when you have a scene that's going to do it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed hope it uh, helps you out and spark some some uh, knowledge in your brain <laughs> your brain fibers to get some nice photoshop um, intelligence all right guys so make sure you guys drop a like if this helped you out sub up to the channel if you guys are new and hit that notification bell so you guys know whenever i go live or upload with that being said it's been castle scope 
and stay scope guys i'm out peace